कॉपबेज हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल कॉपबेज माई नेम इज शालीन वर्मा एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई अ डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट रिक्वायर्स अ नॉइज इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट ड्यूरिंग द ई आई ए प्रोसेस सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक नॉइज पोल्यूशन इज एनी कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी दैट इज अनवॉन्टेड नॉइज असेसमेंट इज देयर फोर गवर्न बाई द इन्वायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स द नॉइज पोल्यूशन रेगुलेशन एंड कंट्रोल रूल्स ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड थ्रू मेनी गवर्नमेंटल एजेंसीज एंड बॉडीज सच एज द नेशनल ग्रीन ट्रिब्यूनल द सेंट्रल पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड एंड द स्टेट पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट इट इज क्रूशल टू इवेल्यूएट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ नॉइज एट अ प्रोजेक्ट साइट और द नियर बाई एरियाज The primary goal of this evaluation is to determine the existing noise levels in the study area and assess how future projects could affect local noise its impact and whether it is acceptable or not. Let's understand the EIA guidelines for noise level assessment. In cases where the existing ambient noise levels are high, the project proponent will be advised to implement control measures to prevent the proposed activity from increasing the ambient noise levels further. The noise assessment during the EIA will be conducted using the following steps. First is identifying the potentially noise generating activities associated with the proposed or existing activity. Next is evaluating the typical sound or noise levels generated by the identified noise source either through a literature review or by analyzing a similar source. The next is based on the plant or utility records where assessing the expected duration of worker exposure to noise. generated by identified noise sources the next is the ambient noise levels within the workspace must be evaluated if the noise exposure level exceeds the acceptable limits appropriate noise control measures such as personal protective equipments or installing barriers or enclosures is recommended the noise assessment is conducted within an impact area ranging from 3 to 25 kilometers or sometimes even more depending on the objectives and potential activities associated with the project baseline ambient noise levels in the study area must be determined by monitoring at various stations the ambient noise levels must be analyzed based on the specific parameters and compared to the ambient noise level standards for the study region if the observed values exceeds the prescribed limit the potential causes of the elevated noise levels must be investigated Let's now understand the noise impact assessment process. The first step here is identifying the source of noise pollution. As the list of projects that require EIA can also include noise emitting activities during the construction and operation stages, the first step must be identifying all possible sources of the noise generation. The primary sources of noise are associated with the following: construction site including equipment and vehicle activity, excavation, dredging, airplanes automobiles trains and ship activities other stationary noise sources including shopping centers parking lots and bus depots the next step includes assessment of the noise sensitive areas now along with identifying the regions that will be affected the sensitivity of the region to noise must also be considered here the areas that are susceptible to noise impacts due to high noise levels include residential areas with houses or apartments institutional areas including libraries schools universities and hospitals clinics public workshops and theaters other regions including hostels parks and public spaces now there are areas where a certain level of noise can be tolerated due to the low population density these noise tolerant areas may include multi level car parking structures shopping malls corporate offices equipped with noise insulation warehouses commercial centers and communities Finally let's understand the reports and documents that will be required in case of a noise impact assessment report so the report must consist of project details that includes project name client details consultant details and duration of the assessment activity project's description that contains information about the developmental project and its impact noise assessment planning policy which provides an outline guidance for assessing noise affecting new developments Next is noise affecting development that compares the current noise levels and the noise impacts in details to identify problem areas. The next is survey result that includes reading recorded during the assessment period and a map showing high impact and sensitive areas. 
The last is conclusion which will explain the assessment activities outcome in detail and outline actions to mitigate the noise impact. Now the specific documents that will be required include site location, site plans, photographs, land use details, topography, meteorological data, noise source details, project details, project description, noise mapping report, noise action plan, experts opinion and finally compliance report. Now, noise impact assessment is a necessary step that helps to identify and evaluate potential noise impacts of a proposed development on the environment and nearby communities. Such assessment also plays a crucial role in promoting sustainable development by ensuring that the environmental impacts of projects are properly evaluated. It is therefore recommended to take expert guidance while conducting any environmental assessment to comply with all laws and regulations applicable. Therefore, to conduct any such additional studies, you can contact our experts at Corbis from the details shown below. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.